And here comes Brother Tracy, the powerhouse of the group. He is the wrath of the eighth day, not just the powerhouse, the wrath. How dare I? He takes people out physically and mentally. Oh, there's Father O'Day. Father O'Day looking dapper as ever with Holy Roger. Introducing first, being accompanied by Holy Roger Lake, the great miracle Sean Hendrix, and Father O'Day. He is representing the eighth day. This brother Tracy is uh, a very violent, very vicious, and very ferocious competitor in that ring. As you said, the wrath of the eighth day, he definitely lives up to that moniker. And his power is not just physical. He has otherworldly power being bestowed upon him from Father O'Day. Former New Texas Tag Team Champions, won him twice, actually. Three times, pardon. Brother Tracy knows this ring like the back of his hand. And he is going up against a gentleman having his first singles contest. Well, Brother Tracy, we've seen him in action here at the Texas Contender Series in singles action. In the past with J.J. Uh, Blake, among others. Don't get it twisted. Brother Tracy is not unfamiliar to singles competition. But he is going to be in for a tough challenge here from Blair Vincent Jr., who made his debut at Texas Contender Series in a losing effort to the Dream Team in tag team action. And his opponent from New Iberia, Louisiana, Blair Vincent Jr. coming to us from Louisiana. You know, I've seen Blair Vincent training, getting ready for this match. He is deceptively agile. I have my eye on this gentleman. I think he needs a little bit of a mean streak. I think he needs to probably listen to Brother Tracy right now, to be honest. Perhaps uh, trying to Perhaps trying to find a new member. But Blair Vincent Jr. not having it. Not everybody gets that opportunity. Now we'll see if Blair Vincent Jr. will come to regret that decision. Or if he's in for a, I would say an upset victory if he can knock off Brother Tracy. Here in this singles contest, starting off with a collar elbow tie up, but Brother Tracy obviously with the strength advantage here. Brother Tracy is just huge. He is just huge. He comes in with those spears, those splashes, those big Texas-sized lariatos. That's why he's the wrath of the eighth day. And Dan, we've seen Brother Tracy a part of the Contender Series for a long time. It seems like Brother Tracy's in the, the best shape I've ever seen him. Oh, absolutely. And to be perfectly honest, Blair Vincent Jr. as well. I remember seeing this guy a couple of months ago, oh. just coming in, learning the ropes, and he has gotten in spectacular shape, believe it or not. Well, he's definitely going to be in for a tough challenge, but a win over Brother Tracy will certainly get him noticed here in the Texas Contender Series. Uh, starting here with the side headlock here by Blair Vincent Jr. Bounces off the ropes. And oh my goodness, there's that explosiveness by Brother Tracy. Listen, just being in the ring with the eighth day is going to get you noticed. Oh, and hip, hip lock. Nice hip toss there by Blair Vincent Jr. Look at this. Look at that. Handspring back elbow. And into the flying crossbody by Blair Vincent. Oh, and a kick at a one. Very impressive offense here by Blair Vincent Jr. Getting the crowd on his side. There's already a miracle in this arena, but can there be Ooh. two? And again, Blair Vincent saw it in the past match, the power advantage, or disadvantage, I should say. That's, oh, oh. Blair Vincent, unfortunately for him. Oh, man. And that little setback may have cost him there. And a swing blade. Man, Brother Tracy just improving every time we see him in the ring. 
I don't think Brother Tracy is too keen on being knocked around by a newcomer. No, I think it just makes him angry. That seems like it makes him angry. He sure doesn't like the new kids on the block, so to speak. You don't want to make Brother Tracy angry. No, I definitely don't. He's a giant man and an intimidating one at that. Definitely not a man of compassion. There's Brother Tracy. Oh. Shot right on the chest. And from a big man like this. Oh my goodness. Ode trying to convert some of the Contender Series faithful on the outside. Yeah, yeah. Oh, old is giving me some of that uh, David Koresh vibes. You know, he used to used to uh, you know indoctrinate a lot of people. With Blair Vincent firing back with his own shots. Whoa! And look at Blair Vincent Jr. go rocking the big man. What? Oh man! And a kick at it too. And Blair Vincent bringing the fight here, Dan. Well, he wanted this one-on-one -on -one contest. He came out all fired up, you know. Oh. You're young, you got the butterflies, the adrenaline's going. You really want to make a good showing. And he's really giving it his all right now, but Brother oh, Tracy, damn. it's just huge. You see that forearm. Man, that rocked him. How could it not? And now, Brother Tracy with that Irish whip into the corner. And Brother Tracy with that stinger splash. And now, and again! Man, he could just move with such great athleticism for a big man. That is so much weight coming down on him. Big power slam. And he just moves so fluidly. Into that. Oh, oh, oh. Man, the standing frog splash. Here to cover. Hooks both legs and a kick out. And I gotta give this Blair Vincent there a lot of credit. He's got a lot of toughness. A lesser man may have been put down with that frog splash. Oh. Blair's also got to think about the future. Oh, man. You know, you're, you're new in this line of work. You want to be able to preserve your body. If you keep coming out fighting against a guy like Brother Tracy, your time in this ring is going to be limited. And a big man yanking on your neck and your head is a good way to uh, limit your in-ring career. As Brother Tracy see in the dominant position right now as this crowd trying to get Blair Vincent Jr. back on his feet, trying to rally this young man. And this crowd really getting behind to Blair Vincent Jr. Elbows to the sternum. That went a little lower to the stomach, but not doing much effect. Irish whip. Mitt dodges a clothesline. Now, big clothesline there by Vincent. Another one drops Brother Tracy. A cartwheel. Oh, oh gosh. Another nice counter again. And it just seems like every time Blair Vincent Jr. tries to get something going, it's always cut off. You know when you're when you're with the eighth day, you could be prepared for anything. They've seen it all in think, this very ring. I think the impressive thing also about Brother Tracy is despite eighth day being outside of the ring, they their involvement has been you know, non-existent. Brother Trace had this match in pretty much all control here from the get-go. Oh, and a big slam there. Here to cover. They had a kick at it, too. Man, that was a big opportunity there for Blair Vincent to get a win. And now the strap's coming down. Feeding off the energy here. The Irish whip. No counter again. Tracy having an answer. Oh, but Sayer Splash, no good. Clothesline miss. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. One of the best spears in wrestling. Man, man, what a performance the by Brother Tracy. The match, Brother Tracy. That is the power of the eighth day. Indeed it was, Dan. Brother Tracy coming in the contender series with a very, very impressive win and uh Oh no, does O'Day have a microphone? Oh, what a treat. Perhaps a post-match sermon. Power! Tonight, you just witnessed power from the wrath of the eighth day. Power is all that you keep witnessing from the eighth day. 
in two weeks time. In two weeks time. At Texas Contenders, we will go against one of the hottest, one of the most talented teams across the nation. We will go against the Russell Twins. And for as great as they are, for as great as they are, will succumb and fall to the power of the eighth day. And afterwards, well afterwards, we'll go after that heathen, that man, that monster who cheated and stole our titles. Brother JJ, Brother Tempo, after this tournament, we will gain what is ours. We will gain our titles back and become the new Tag Team Champions once again. Because unlike the both of you, we have power. We ahead of uh, two weeks time, Texas Contender Series 20. Free beer. Free beer, free beer. Every Everyone who comes to Texas Contender Series 20 is gains, a, gains a two free alcoholic beverages. Fantastic. Haram though. Oh, there you go. Of course, of course, you gotta be 21. That said, I have seen a flared up O'Day before. I have seen the eighth day without those tag team championships. Every time they don't have those, they get more vicious, more brutal, and I don't think this is going to be any different. 